So is there tissue damage at the veins due to the negative pressure or is it only with the red blood cells? If it could be, it could be trauma to the tissue itself. So if we evacuate or aspirate so much so quickly that the veins collapse, then that sheer mechanical tension from the aspiration does cause endothelial injury and it will cause your uh, thrombosis at the tip of that catheter making that IV fail. Let's sidebar that because that's always going to happen. Um, let's talk about good blood draws without the complete deflation of that vein at the tip of the catheter. The trauma from the red blood cells is what we call cavitation. When we apply so much negative pressure so quickly, the cells start to expand, but also the gases get pulled out. This is why when you try to aspirate on a difficult aspiration, you'll see bubbles coming into the syringe. Even though there's no leaking and you release the syringe, it pops back, uh, the plunger pops back into place. That indicates that we are not leaking, that the blood is being cavitated. When we draw with enough pressure, actually, you know what? Let me show you. Here's a great example of what's happening in our blood when we pull with too much negative pressure and why our blood is hemolyzing. So I'm going to suction that with negative pressure, pull on that plunger with negative pressure. Look what happens to the bubbles. They expand and then collapse, expand. They get bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. So. I know these are bubbles, but this is also what's happening in our blood cells, to our blood cells. So the red blood cells, they expand and then they collapse, expand and collapse. And we are manipulating it for it to expand and collapse. And this is what hemolyzes the blood samples. And so you don't want to apply so much negative pressure that you're expanding the cells so much that you'll hemolyze the sample. So you want to apply as gentle of negative pressure as possible, not hard negative pressure. Now this excessive negative pressure is what's causing the hemolysis of the samples. And then of course you're gonna get bad results, which is going to give you bad clinical decisions. Good luck.